And as you look around and you see the cameras that are here, it just really goes to show you <clears throat> how this city has evolved over the years from several uh, different administrations of ensuring that this city is under watch. Uh, this city uh, will utilize not only uh, the cameras that are assigned to the New York City Police Department, but our partners uh, through the surveillance throughout the entire city. It has become a real, true partnership of keeping the city safe, and that is why we will continue to be the safest big city uh, in America. And as uh, the Jewish community prepares and celebrates the high holiday season, and it also marks one year uh, since uh, the terrible terrorist attack that took place on October 7th, uh, one of the most devastating attacks uh, since the Holocaust that took place in Israel. We pray for peace in the entire region. We're seeing uh, so much violence unfolding in the region and as a city, uh, we are going to continue to call and pray for peace. And we will always stand in solidarity with all faith communities of New York City. Uh, that is more important than ever as we approach this one year anniversary, anniversary of this of October 7th attack. The one year mark one of the worst terror attacks on the Jewish people since the Holocaust and the one year anniversary of a tragedy that is still causing such pain to so many here in our city. We know that there are significant protests planned for October 7th and while we acknowledge that the city will respect and protect people's right to peacefully protest, there will be a zero tolerance for those who violate the law, impede traffic and damage property while doing so. We will not accept for people to be threatened at their places of work, their places of worship, or any place here in New York City. And as the mayor with the largest community of various faiths in the United States, it is my sacred duty to protect all New Yorkers, and that is what we are going to do. As a person of faith, I will always stand with those who seek to live in worship and freedom and security. And I want every New Yorker to know your city will protect you. No matter what is going on on the globe, here in New York City, you will be safe. And so as families come together and neighbors prepare for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, our city is going to make sure they can do so safely. And I urge New Yorkers to celebrate and congregate throughout the weekend free of fear. The NYPD is working with our law enforcement partners at the city, state, and federal levels to ensure that every New Yorker, every neighborhood, every community, and house of faith is safe. There will be many pro protections that you will see, and there will be many that you will not see. New Yorkers can expect an increased police presence at key locations and houses of worship, and you will notice more of them in uniform. We will have an omnipresence and a real visible presence of uniform personnel. We're deploying additional cameras to sensitive locations that will complement the 80,000 cameras in the NYPD domain awareness system. And we will ensure a swift response to any act of violence and any call for service. We will continue to protect New Yorkers, and I really want to thank the entire police department and all of our partners that are here from various organizations and entities that are standing in solidarity with us as we keep this city safe during this holiday season. This organization is a professional organization. No matter what happens in the city uh, and any particular time to any individuals, the operation continues. Uh, I served in this department. I know how professional they are. Uh, and we are going to keep New York safe. And New Yorkers know that. Uh, we watch uh, how we continue to decrease crime during normal settings, how we handle thousands of protesters since October 7th, uh, how we continue to handle the hunger that just was in our city, the UN General Assembly, one of the most important uh, operations where world leaders were here. Uh, so all I can say to you and every New Yorker, we got this. Here's where the hospital is on Second Avenue. Okay. okay. Um, How close can you see? Um, we could zoom very close. Abby, can you just bring up a camera? Um, I don't know. 
you go to Times Square, red steps. Go to Times Square, yep. Perfect. Bring up the Times Square camera, please. One on one. It's very, very clear. So you had a suspicious bag like that red bag. Absolutely. <laughs> then we'll go ahead and mm -hmm. uh, zoom in on it to mm -hmm. see what's going on. We'll also send like an effect to that location right, so right. that they could control the event at that location. Okay. This is the call it's 720p. Mm -hmm. Later we'll move it to 4K. Oh, we'll give it an update? Okay. We'll get a higher... Uh, higher um, um, yeah. Yeah. resolution. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, man. Sorry, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Good job, man. Yeah, sorry. Good luck. Good luck.